Hey guys, my name is Austin Reed, and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to connect HubSpot to N8N. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so in order to test this workflow, basically all we're going to do is grab a contact whenever it's added to the HubSpot database. Now, in order to do that, we actually need to hook up two HubSpot credentials. HubSpot's a little weird. So the trigger node is going to be using a developer credential and the getting the contact itself is going to be using a normal credential. So we're gonna hook up both. So getting started hooking up the first node, first we're going to go to developers.hubspot.com. I will leave a link in the description down below for you guys. And you're going to create a developer account. Once that's done, you're going to see this page and we're going to get our HubSpot API key. Now this is really important. I'm gonna go ahead and show the key. You can totally steal this. I'm going to delete it afterwards, okay? Next, what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to N8N. We're going to go to your HubSpot trigger. We're going to create a new credential and then you wanna put your developer API key right here where it says developer API key. That's done, okay? I'm gonna delete this because that's not needed. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to jump out of here and we're going to click create an app. Okay, we're gonna call it whatever we want. I'm just gonna leave it the same. Give it a description if you want. And then right here we need to add a redirect URL. So what we'll do is we'll come back to N8N, we'll copy this URL, go back to developers, and we'll paste the redirect URL. Paste it right here, okay? Then you click create app, all right? Now that the app is created, go ahead and go to auth, and we're going to grab the client's ID and the client secret. So let's start with the client ID, go over to N8N, put that in beautifully, go to the client secret, we'll copy that, we'll put that in here, and then we have to add the app ID, which is here. We'll copy that, we'll put that here. But we're not done yet, do not click connect. Now we need to add the scopes on the HubSpot side so that N8N can connect to HubSpot properly. So you can find those scopes here. I will leave this link in the description below because it's pretty long. But basically you're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says using developer API key. And then you're going to start grabbing these scopes here, okay? So we'll go back to HubSpot for developers, okay? And we'll scroll down all the way to the scopes. And then we'll go back here and we'll just start copying these over. So we'll copy this, we'll paste it here, add a check, go back. So I'm gonna quickly go through all these for you. All right, now once you select them all, it should select six, okay? You've changed six settings. Click save. Now we can click connect on the N8 inside and it should work properly. Connect to my HubSpot. We're going to select not the developer account, but we're gonna select the normal account here. Choose account and then connect app. And so we're done there. Now, this is a really important thing. Do not mess with the scopes or this app anymore. Leave it the way it is, and if you connect new API credentials, make new apps, okay? If you do other things, make new apps, because if you change one thing about this, I promise you it will stop working. So you just wanna make sure that you just don't touch it anymore. All right, so now let's go ahead and test it just to make sure it's working. So we're gonna hop over to N8N real quick. We're going to turn off this other HubSpot node temporarily. Okay, we're gonna jump in here, make sure it says contact created, right? We're gonna make sure we're active and we're gonna click save, okay? Give it a sec. Okay, then we're gonna go over to executions, okay? Now, on just quick note, you cannot use test workflow with HubSpot for some reason, it just doesn't work. So we're gonna go back over to contacts Create a contact. Beautiful. And we go back over to N8N and we should here shortly see a success message. And we did. Wonderful. So let's jump into here. 
see what it says. Now, HubSpot API is really bad, so they don't give you any useful information here. We actually have to do two API calls in order to get any type of useful information. Um, but we did get a contact ID, which is what we're going to need. So I'm actually gonna go contact ID. I'm gonna copy this here. We're gonna go back over to the editor, go into this node here, and we're going to do double curly braces. We're gonna go dollar sign, sorry, dollar sign, JSON, like that. Then we're gonna do flat braces, a pair of quotes, and we're gonna post the contact ID from the one previously, and it should grab properly, okay? All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new credential, all right? We're gonna go over to app token, then we're gonna go back over to HubSpot, go up to the settings, not the developer account, but the normal account, okay? We're gonna go over to private apps over here. We're gonna create one. We're gonna call it whatever we want. We're gonna go over to scopes, CRM, and we need to grab company and contact, okay? Contact company. We're gonna click create. It's going to give us an app ID. We're gonna show the token. We're going to copy it. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna paste it here and click save. And we should see a success message. And we do. Beautiful. So now we can jump out of here. We're going to reactivate this. Make sure that we have this here as we added before properly. We're gonna click save. Give it a moment. Now we're going to go over here and we are going to add a new contact. So let's go back, create contact. YouTube, how are you guys doing? Cool, create. All right, now let's go back over here. We'll go over to executions and was not this one. It was this one, okay. Double click on contact here, and we see do, 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 YouTube. Beautiful, so it looks like it did work successfully. All right, so I hope that video helped you guys out. If you guys would like to see some more videos like how to use AI within Aiden, I do have more on my channel, so go ahead and check that out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.